Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the bee theme and the bee builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. For this tutorial, I will use the new icon box element that we have added in version 26.3. This element has 7 predefined styles that can be used on click. On the right side, I already have 3 icon boxes that came with the pre-built website I have imported. Because I don't like the default look of any built-in presets, I already created my own. As you can see, unlike the built-in presets, the custom one can be removed with the little trash icon that appears next to the preset on Hoover. Ok, let's apply already created preset to the first icon box. To do this, right click on the icon box or left click and edit. Then from presets list I will choose my custom preset one. That's great. As you can see, the icon is now on the left and on the right we have the title and some description below. However, because this is not what I would like to have, I will customize it. Let's change the icon position to top and maybe give it some nice hover effect. Move box up should be fine. Now I will go to the style tab and change the border radius for the whole container, let's say 30 pixels should be ok. That's great! This is how I wanted the icon box to look like. Now I will save the current styles of this icon box as preset by clicking on the blue button with plus icon. Let's say I will give it a name preset2. Ok, in the last step I will apply this preset to the other two icon boxes to show you how easy it is. Just click on the icon box that you would like to apply the preset to and choose newly created preset from the list. And that's it. As you can see both boxes look exactly the same. Ok, let's repeat this step for the third icon box. Using presets is huge workflow improvement and will save you time. I hope you like it and will be using it for future projects. That is all for this video, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.